Welcome to the second video on block diagrams. This video looks at arrangements of systems in series. So first of all, what do we assume? Well, we assume that students are familiar with the content of the first video, which focused on what is a Laplace transform and what is a transfer function. And the key point being transforms tend to be based on signals, whereas a transfer function is a representation of a system. The first video also gave a summary of basic block diagram notation. So here's a reminder. Um, lines represent signals. So this line here might, for example, represent an input signal with a Laplace transform U of S. And this line here, or arrow, would represent an output signal with a transform Y of S. Boxes, on the other hand, represent systems. And this notation, arrow coming into a box with an arrow coming out, um, is interpreted as the Laplace transform of the output arrow is the Laplace transform in the box multiplied by the Laplace transform of the input signal. And you will see that summarized at the bottom here. So what do we want to do next? We want to look at what happens when systems are arranged in series. So here's an example. You can see system one has got an input U and a state or output X. System two has got an input X and an output Y. So what's happening is the output of system one becomes the input to system two. And we want to ask ourselves, how do we deal with this in terms of block diagram notation? And what we're going to do is we're going to use Laplace to reduce the computation of Y to simple multiplications. And you will see how this leads to a simple block diagram um, representation. So here we go. First of all, let's look at system one. So system one is represented with this differential equation up here, u equals 5 dx dt plus 7x. If we use Laplace transforms on this, we end up with um, the relationship x of s equals g1 of s times u of s, where g1 is given by this expression here, 1 over 5s plus 7. OK, what about the second system? Well, the second system was 2x equals 6 dy dt plus 10y. And if we use Laplace transforms on that, we end up with g2 times x of s is y of s, where g2 well, it has this transfer function here, 2 over 6s plus 10. Now, the key thing to note here is we've got an x of s here, and we've got an x of s here. So we can simply substitute one into the other. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to eliminate x of s, and you'll notice, it's written down here, this term here is x of s. So I can now write down that y of s is g1 of s times g2 of s times u of s. So in terms of <coughs> Laplace transforms, what's nice is the Laplace transform of the output y of s is transfer function 1 times transfer function 2 times the Laplace transform of the input to system 1. So we've just multiplied these two transfer functions together. OK, how do we put this into a block diagram? Well, first, what we've got on the left here is the block diagram representation for system 1. So x equals g1 times u of s. So there's the block diagram for that. Next, we might want to look at the block diagram for g2. So y equals g2 times x. And in case it's not absolutely clear, what we're saying is the signal coming out of g1 is x of s, and the signal going in to g2 is x of s. And what you will notice is that we've got the same signal. And so therefore, it should be intuitively obvious that we can just join that line together because it represents the same signal. And that's what we're going to do next. We're going to simply join g1 and g2 with a single arrow. So we've got u here, x here, and y here. And therefore, we have the relationship you saw on the previous slide, which is y equals g1 times g2 times u. How about another example? So in this system, we've got three 
uh, differential equations, or you could say three subsystems combined together to make a whole system. So the first thing I want to do is represent each of these systems in a transfer function representation. Now, we've had a bit of practice at this, so now I'm going to write the answers down um, by inspection. So what I've got is W equals 2 over S plus 4 into U. So that's that system. For this one here, I've got Z equals 1 over S plus 1 into W. And for this system over here, I've got Y equals 4 over S plus 3 into Z. And hopefully it's obvious, but just in case it's not, what I'm going to do is take this W here and plug it in there. And then I'm going to take this Z here and plug it in there. So let's see what we get. OK, you can see that I've now got three transfer function blocks in a line with arrows in between. So first of all, this U goes through G1 to give me W. W goes through G2 to give me Z. And Z goes through G3 to give me Y. So what I could do is I could just write down Y equals G1, G2, G3 times U. So a different sort of question. Which transfer function represents the model y equals g of s, u of s? And you'll see you're given your two subsystems up here. u equals 4 dx dt plus 2x, and 2x equals dy dt plus y. So as, as before, first thing I'll do is find the transfer function representations for each subsystem. So I've got x equals 1 over 4s plus 2 into u, and I've got y equals 2 over s plus 1 into x, and if I put those two together, that gives me y equals 2 over s plus 1 into 1 over 4s plus 2 into u. Now, um, it might not be immediately obvious, so I'm going to do a slight modification to this. I'm going to take out a factor of 2, so I get 1 over s plus 1 into 2s plus 1. So I've taken out a factor of 2, and now if I look at what I've got, I should be able to find one of the transfer functions that matches this. Now clearly, it can't be G2, because that's got an s plus 2 and an s plus 1, whereas we've got an s plus 1 and a 2s plus 1. I've got G3 is 1 over 2s plus 4 s plus 1. That's got the wrong gain, so it can't be G3. I've got G4 equals 0 0.5 over 2s plus 1 s plus 1. Well, that can't be right either, because that's also got the wrong gain. So we're looking at, can it be G1? Well, G1 has multiplied out the polynomial. So let's just check what happens if we get s plus 1 into 2s plus 1, and we multiply it out, and you'll see we get 2s squared plus 3s plus 1, and that indeed is what we've got in G1, so G1 is the correct answer. OK, a final question. Show a block diagram which represents the following systems. So all I'm going to do is the same as ever before, is first of all, turn each of these differential equations into a transfer function uh, representation. So I've got x equals, and then I'm going to have minus 4 over 0.2s plus 1 into u. And then for this next one, I'm going to have y equals 3 over s plus 1 into x, and finally w equals 2 over 4s plus 0 0.5 into y. So you can see I use u to get x, x to get y, y to get w. So I can start on the left with u 
u goes through a box with a transfer function minus 4 over 0.2s plus 1. That signal gives me x. x goes through a transfer function 3 over s plus 1 to give me y. And y goes through a transfer function to give me w. And that transfer function is 2 over 4s plus 0.5. So if I really wanted to, I could have written down w equals, now I've got minus 4 times 3 times 2, which is 24, so minus 24 over, and then I can multiply it all out like this, 0.2s plus 1, s plus 1, 4s plus 0.5 into u.